Hey, it's Jameson with another project, and like most of my videos, I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but we're going to give it a try, and I'm going to learn through the process, and hopefully you will too, and hopefully I won't waste glass in the process. So, I have one of these awesome bullseye rolled edges. Uh, if you don't know what a rolled edge is, bullseye glass does not cut their glass. This is the natural edge that comes from uh, the uh, manufacturing process. We call it a rolled edge, and I just think it's fun to work with. So uh, this is in that uh, kind of teal turquoise kind of color. This actually was from a mix that had a pour down the middle, a cascade down the middle. This is on the outer edge. So what I'm going to do here is I want to create a, you may have seen in an unboxing video that I got some water jet uh, music notes. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of create something that uses this mold. So this is one of those S-curve molds from Bullseye. And this holds a 10 inch piece of glass. So that's what I've cut here, 10 inches. <clears throat> and I also have some stringers that I had draped for an earlier project. Now what I used for these, there were just some ceramic, um, mold, uh, ceramic uh, posts, if you will, that is a specific mold set from Slumpies. I'll try to find it and post the uh, video. I've got these all tangled here. I'll try to post the link in the video notes. But I have these um, stringers that I had already slumped. This is this um, funky and fun spring green color. And so my intention here, I've got a contour fuse piece that's going in. And I think I'm going to do this in multiple firings. My intention is to create a funky, wavy, cool uh, music staff, you know, five, five line music. Is that what it's called? It's a staff. It's been a long time since I've been in band, but I want to create these funky curves on here and I will, uh, you know, position this and kind of glue it down where I, where I want it to work for me. But then I'm going to add music notes across this and kind of a fun flowy, um, pattern. Now the challenge that I don't want is that on a contour fuse, I don't want to put a music note on here and then have the music note kind of slump in, if you will, to the to the uh, lines. So I'm going to do this as two firings. I'm going to get this arranged. I'm going to glue it down with some hairspray or glass tack. And then I'm going to flip it and fire it upside down, face down. And I think even though it's just a contour, I think that will be enough to kind of press these cleanly into the glass face so that I get a nice crisp line that remains and get it relatively flat so that I can flip it over, put my music notes on and not have to worry about the music notes themselves taking on the contour of the lines, if that makes sense. Hopefully you're tracking with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut. I'm gonna get them arranged and glued down. Then I've got a piece of kiln paper on a shelf. I'm gonna flip it upside down and fire it. I'll put my firing schedule in the video notes and I'll show you when it comes out, what it looks like, and then I'll uh, attach my music notes and go from there. All right, this fired exactly as I had hoped. I forgot to mention that these would be reactive and so um, I don't know if you can see, uh, there's a subtle uh, dark line reaction between the um, spring green and the teal. Uh, and it looks great. I'm really pleased with this. So now I'm going to add my uh, music elements, musical elements. So this was the fired face down. And so there's a little bit of texture, but not bad. If I had left those as they were, and then fired them, I think they would have, on top, they would have spread out a little bit. All right, I put my music notes on here. I just tacked them on with some hairspray so they're not gonna come off uh, and dried it. And I, now I'm going to dust this with a light layer of clear powder, uh, just to help uh, really kind of give everything a nice polish, especially since I fired this face down. Um, I suppose it could be a chance that this would devitrify a little bit. Hopefully the clear would take care of that. It'll give me a nice little polish on my music notes, and I'll put it in for a tack fuse and uh, show you what it looks like when it comes out before then I go into a slump. This came out of the kiln beautifully. My only thing is that I went to 1400 and I often go to 1375, but I had some other things in there that I wanted to go 
uh, a little bit hotter. I wish I had just stuck with my instinct and fired it on a different schedule because the water jets got a little bit softer than I would have wanted. I still think it's um, great. I'm pleased with it overall. But next time, trust your instincts. Go with the schedules you know. For water jets, particularly some that are this fine, um, you know, this uh, skinny, uh, I think 1300 would have been better for me, for my kiln. But uh, now this is going back in for a slump, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, here's the finished slump on this. I love it. it sits nice, and I like that square, or excuse me, that uh, S-curve uh, slumper. It's kind of fun. Uh, just a, you know, generally fun piece, fun colors. I think uh, if you're a music lover, if you're a music teacher, this would make a cool gift for, uh, from one of your students. So very pleased with this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, go to the video notes here on YouTube to find my firing schedules and a list of suppliers. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.